Welcome to another home inspection short video on infrared thermal imaging. Let's start our short discussion on infrared thermal imaging by telling you what it is not. One, is it dangerous? No. Using infrared camera is not dangerous. Pointing the camera at a person is not dangerous as IR cameras are receivers of information. Two, you cannot actually see through walls or objects or clothes. Unlike X-rays, which are a penetrating form of radiation, IR thermal cameras do not penetrate objects. They only show the temperature readings from an object in a color gradient form. Three, does it show everything perfectly? No. If you're doing a home inspection with an IR thermal camera, you cannot see every problem in a house. IR thermal cameras do not see moisture directly. You need a moisture meter in order to confirm the presence of moisture. IR cameras can only provide clues. That's important, clues. It does not see cold or hot air. It only provides clues to its presence. Some materials, such as glass, can deceive an IR camera by reflecting heat from other sources. Shiny metals may show up as a hot signature, even if it's not. So what does an infrared thermal camera do? Well, basically materials give off infrared radiation all the time. We don't see it, we don't feel it, doesn't harm anyone. Infrared thermal cameras just receive infrared radiation information from an object's surface as temperature differences and displays it in a colorful gradient form as a picture. So how does it help you, the homeowner? Well, in energy efficiency. The IR cameras do not see air, but it can see the effects of cold or hot air in the house on the walls, ceilings, floors, windows, or doors. It can help determine if there are potential air leaks or a lack of insulation in the house. It can help increase your energy efficiency and save money in the long run. It can also help in moisture detection. IR cameras do a great job of indirectly detecting the presence of moisture, so they are great in potentially finding water leaks in the home before they are even visible to you. Leaky toilets, holes in the roof, and moisture penetration in the basement are all candidates for detection by an RR camera. To find these moisture or energy efficiency issues, inspectors look for anomalies and patterns, not actual temperatures, from an infrared image. We also have electrical and HVAC. We can use IR cameras to detect overheating of wires, breakers, back connections, or arcing. This plays an important role in the safety and potential prevention of fires. In HVAC, it can help detect disconnections of pipes, vents, or ducts. It can even detect problems from in-floor heating. Although not perfect, infrared thermal imaging gives us the potential to find problems that you normally cannot see with the naked eye. Now let's take a look at some examples of infrared thermal imaging in a typical house. Our first example is this duct behind drywall. With the furnace on, we can clearly see where the duct is located in the house as it leads to a bulkhead. If the duct was disconnected or leaking, the IR camera may reveal it. One of the things IR cameras cannot do is see through materials. But in the bulkhead here, it would appear we can see right through the drywall as we can clearly see the wood studs in the bulkhead. This is an illusion, as what the camera is showing is again a temperature gradient from the drywall caused by the wood having a lower temperature than the air around it. In the utility room, we have a high efficient furnace with PVC exhaust and intake pipes. With the IR camera, we can clearly see the warm exhaust pipe and the cool intake pipe. We have the potential here to spot any disconnected or leaking pipes. Let's take a look at some electrical examples. This electrical panel shows the heat signature of the wires and breakers. You can see the potential here of easily scanning the entire panel for overheating issues that are invisible to you. But you will also see multiple hot spots on the left side. That's actually a false positive by those shiny metal wire clamps. So you must be aware of what you're looking at. Here we have a normal operation of a breaker and electrical wire in use from a dryer. The dryer uses a 30 amp breaker. So we expect and see a high heat signature. When it comes to electrical, the inspector uses actual temperatures to assess the potential overheating condition. 
And here, next to an electrical receptacle, is a low-voltage opening in an exterior wall, showing a very cool area with potential heat loss. This next example shows a typical register with the heat on. With an IR camera, it would be possible to detect any disconnect or leakage of the duct. We can also see the cool areas near the baseboard and near the bottom of the front door. In this video, we have a window in the bathroom. There is an area of discoloration under the window. Is that moisture or is it cool air leaking from the window? If the inspector thinks there may be a moisture problem, he must confirm with a moisture meter to determine the source. In this case, it was just cool air. Finally, on the right, we see what looks like a normal window, but using IR reveals moisture damage around the upper part of the frame. We are now finding problems that we could not before with just a visual inspection. Home Inspector MD does provide a free infrared thermal inspection with each standard home inspection or a separate IR thermal inspection for a small fee. Thank you from Home Inspector MD.